Levistronic, Remote Control, Telentree, and Technical Assistance. Hello friends. I going to show you how install any desk in a Redmi Note 12. To start, let's go to Play Store and we will write any desk. and we proceed to install. Once installed, we go to open it. Click OK here. Click OK again in order to install the plugin. Now, we will waiting to the confirmation message. Well, we gonna click in Google Play, where we go to found the plugin. Thus, let's install it. Good, now it is installed. Now, let's close any desk and all other applications that can be open. Let's move the program to another place. Let's open the program. It's telling us that is necessary activate the plugin that we just installed. Let's accept. And we must select the option downloaded applications. Thus, let's click here. In this menu, we must select any desk control service AD1. Activate the service by clicking here. Now, the security system makes us wait. At this moment, we can click here. Important, only must be activated this option. This other never we will activate. Let's close all windows and programs. Once again, we turn on the Any Desk program. It say that the plugin, who has been installed and just activated, now must be auto ritz This is a tutorial, which we can read carefully. The creators of this app ask us to help him to improve program. For it, we must allow them to get some information, which only is for see how we are using the program, and in any case no personal data. We have installed the program, the plugin, etc., but there are still things missing. Thus, let's close the app and restart it again. In this now message, it's telling us that battery optimization must be deactivate both app and plugin. Click OK to close this. It happens that, by default, the apps are closing to save battery when the screen is not being used. And when the display is closing, the remote control is lost. Let's go out and close all applications. Select the settings options. Let's look for apps menu. Select manage applications. Select any desk plugin. Select battery saver. Sell it no restrictions. Go back. And now, we will select any desk program in order to do the same previous steps. Let's go out and close all applications.
In this case, only remain settings options menu to close. Again, we start the program, and now we will see if no warning appears. Congratulations, we have achieved it. Finally, we have managed to ensure that no notice appears when the program starts. Notice how we have never clicked on this message. And this has been our strategy to ensure that the installation was carried out without errors. At this point, it's left to know the steps that we must follow when get an incoming call. To know how to handle a call, let's watch the next section. Levistronic. Technical Remote Assistance and Telemetry. Setting up remote call with any desk. Now, what we are going to do is start the AnyDesk program from the computer. As you can see on the left, we have the mobile phone and on our right, the remote access program, which is on the computer. If you look at this number, which is on the mobile phone, it is the one that we are going to have to write on the remote side, in this case the computer. We write now. and we press enter. We can see that this notice appears on our mobile phone. Let's pay a lot of attention. As before, what we should never do is press this checkbox, do not show this message again. If we are sure that the incoming call is secure, we can activate the upper checkbox and then press accept. This message will appear every time that someone connects to us for the first time. Subsequently, if the call is authorized, this type of message will no longer appear, and in its place, a different one appears, when the petitioner of the external request is known. Obviously, clicking the checkbox just below, not showing this message again, would leave us in a situation of high exposure. There are cases in which this alarm signal must be deactivated, as could be the case of various agricultural machinery, such as motorized irrigation machines. Or, if you are the one who is going to connect with the ignition unit remotely, you may want to deactivate this warning in order to establish a more fluid connection. In any case, each situation must be evaluated and choose the most convenient, since this program, AnyDesk, allows us to select the best option. Now next, I am going to explain to you how to configure the way in which we want the communication to be established, activating different types of permissions for the remote request. Let's hit it, accept. What we now see on the screen is a list of privileges that the external requester will have prior to the connection that we must approve. As this is a new sender, we see that it doesn't have any access or permission, except being able to see. The connection has not yet been established. The sender still sees absolutely nothing, waiting for confirmation, because what we are doing is negotiating the call. Let's look now at this little tab. Through it, we can configure the accesses, which will be saved only in this sender for future sessions. We can always modify and rectify at any time. Now I will explain to you what permissions must be assigned for a fluid remote connection, which, as I have told you before, you can restrict later, or vice versa if any access is missing, you can activate it later. So we click here. 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 And here too. What have we done? In the first checkbox, we authorize that the remote keyboard can be used. The second checkbox, referring to the pointer or indicator, is very important. Without it, remote access disappears, as control is lost over the screen, which could only be seen, but in no case could it be manipulated externally. Probably the most important checkbox. Be careful, because sometimes it's deactivated, but in any case, it's very easy to activate it again. In the third checkbox, we will make that the clipboard can be shared. In the fourth, the clipboard get the ability to copy and paste files, as in the same way for the text. Finally, in this last checkbox, we activate the remote file manager. Very useful for transferring files and folders. We accept. Now, it's from this message that communication will be established. If we accept, our mobile screen will appear on the remote computer, at which point, the battery optimization will be cancelled, preventing automatic screen shutdown until the session ends. 
Thus, let's accept. We see, on the left, the cell phone. And, on the right, we have the remote connection console on the computer. Now we are going to disconnect the communication, and we will see what happens with a known incoming communication. We see that instead of the warning that showed at the beginning, or it indicated the presence of a possible pirate. Now, however, in this window, the communicator is identified, along with his or her privileges, inherited from the last time. If we want to modify the accesses, now is the time to do it. We will always have the possibility to modify these privileges at any time. For example, if we don't like what we see, we click here and modify. If we do not agree, we can also deny the request, and if not, we click here to accept with these permissions. And we confirm it now. Sometimes in communication, something goes wrong, and it is very important to be clear. The when, to know the moment in which we must act. The how, to know what should be done at that moment. We can see that the response delay is very small. This will not depend on the communication speed, but rather on the mobile hardware. With current mobile phones and 5G, practically this delay will be very little noticeable. In this demonstration we are using an affordable mobile phone. This is all friends. We hope it can be of help to you.